Hello friends, this video on structure of atom part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. The last thing I told was the line spectra which also shows the particle nature. So line spectra as we discussed, the way it works is you take any gas or any metal, you excite it, heat it. Whatever uh, rays come out, that is electromagnetic rays, comes out, you pass that through the prism and you see these kind of spectrum where you have these kind of lines and that clearly says that these guys are I mean the electromagnetic rays has some particle nature correct same thing written here to produce the electromagnetic spectrum we supply the energy to a sample by heating it and then uh, a radiation is emitted and then we observe this uh, radiation using prism. So the conclusion we have is we light has a dual nature dual behavior if you see it it behaves like a wave also it behaves like a particle also right where it like behaves like a ball where it bounces back correct also microscopic particles such as electrons also behave wave particle dual. the electrons also have dual nature electrons also have dual nature and this is something which will help us in forming the quantum model Please remember, electrons also have well nature. We'll take some examples now. Let's take some examples on electromagnetic waves. First, we have to calculate the energy of one mole of photon whose frequency is 5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. So we have frequency given, this is the frequency, and we define the energy of one mole. Energy of one molecule is we know that. How much? We have the formula H mu. This is for one molecule, right? So let's put the values here. What is the value of H? H is Planck, uh, this constant 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second into frequency is 5 into 10 to the power minus 10 to the power plus 14. Hertz, that is nothing but per second. So if you multiply you get value as 3.313 into 10 to the power minus 90 joule. So this is my energy of one molecule. I want to find energy of one mole. So energy of one mole is nothing but one mole has we know that 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. So this into energy of one molecule. I hope this you understand this formula. Energy of one mole is nothing but energy this number because this number is nothing but one mole has this many molecules into energy of one molecules. Energy of one molecules we have already found. We'll just put the value 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 into 3.313 into 10 to the power minus 90 and the whole thing will become juice right per mole actually because this is one mole so if you solve this you get 199.51 kilo joule per mole. and that is my answer let's take one example a bulb of 100 watt emits monochromatic light of wavelength 400 nanometer you have to calculate the number of photons emitted per second by the bulb. So we have 100 watt bulb that emits a light of this wavelength. We define the number of photons emitted by bulb per second. So when you say 100 watt, this I say power is 100 watt. This means what? That means 100 joules per second is my power correct so in one second this much energy is given from the bulb now this much energy is coming from some n photons right and each photon will give some energy and the energy will be h mu or h c by lambda because we have given lambda see this is the whole power of the bulb power of 
bulb. That is one hundred joule per second, and this power comes from n photons, and n photons each photon will have energy of s equal lambda. Hope you understand this. So what you get is hundred joule in one second if you take is nothing but n, which is the number of photons. Do s equal lambda h is six point six two six into ten to the power minus thirty four joule second. C is speed of light three to ten to the power eight meter per second. Please note every the units. I am putting everything in meter seconds joules. And then I have lambda. Lambda is four hundred nanometer. So I'll convert this into meter. So one nanometer is equal to one nanometer is equal to and um, is equal to ten to the power nine meter. So I'll say four hundred nanometer is nothing but four hundred into ten to the power minus nine meter. Correct. So if you solve this now to get the value of n, you will find n is twenty into ten to the power nineteen. All right, four pounds. And since we are doing for per second, this these are the my this many photons will be per second emitted. Okay, these are my photons. Emitted. Hope you understand this. What we have done, we had a bulb which was uh, which whose power was hundred watt. It is hundred joule per second, and this the whole energy was coming from some n number of photons. Each photon has energy h c by lambda. So we found the number of. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.